Hi there, Lee Griggs, our auto rendering specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to quickly cover how to use the UV coordinates of the image shader to distort some photographic imagery. So here I've used various texture maps connect to see the UV coordinates of the image shader to distort the uh, these photographic images. So there's a written tutorial as well where you can follow along and there's a link to a scene file with the uh, textures here as well. Okay, so I've got a plane here. I'm just going to assign a standard surface shader to it. And then on the emission color, we want to increase that to one and connect an image shader to the emission color. So the out color to the emission color. And then we need to find the photograph of the Mona Lisa, which I've downloaded here from the zip file from the tutorial. I shall I'll put a link in the description to Mona Lisa JPEG. So if you look at the image attributes there and uh, UV coordinates, we have a UV coordinate so we can connect uh, any shader there. So I'm going to first connect a ramp here. So just a, a regular Maya ramp, which will give us the option to connect the UV coordinates to the UV coordinates of the image. So U coordinate to UV coordinates X and V coordinate to UV coordinates Y of the image shader. And then for the ramp, just make sure that the type is set to four corner ramp and then just add some colors to the to the ramp here. So something like this, make that blue. And then let's um, set off an Arnold Brenda. Okay, so I've got our shader here with a the image going into the emission color. Let me move this up here. So you can see the uh, colors going into the emission color and the ramps. UV coordinates are going to the UV coordinates of the image. So we could just change the noise of the ramp. You can see how it's distorting the image like so. What we could also do is add a, another shader to the texture uh, image to the color offset. So I'm just going to create another image, connect it to the color offset of the ramp, and then can use another texture to um, distort the photo. When Lisa might need to update the render to see uh, the effect. There you have it. So let's go and graph the network. And then we've got this image here is one basically so I'm just going to reduce it to zero you can see how that distortion is occurring via the texture map. You can see the effect the texture map's having on the UV coordinates of the Mona Lisa image. Okay so just to recap we've got the center surface with the image Mona Lisa going to the emission color and then we've got the ramp set to four corners, UV coordinates going to UV coordinates of the image. And then the texture map we're using to drive the offset, color offset of the ramp, which we can animate even. We can also animate this uh, effect. So here's an example where I've animated the multiplier of the texture image to um, distort the UV coordinates of the photo face. Okay, thanks for watching and bye for now.